Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This time we're going to be on Twitter taking a look at the new card reveals and just talking about the next champion they're associated with. I can already tell by this one picture that it's going to be Diana. I am looking forward to it. Very much so. Let us jump right into it. Okay, we already know what Nightfall is. Lunari Duskbringer. A 1 mana 2 1. When I'm summoned, create a Dusk Petal. Dusk Petal Dust. In hand. Say that 10 times fast. Oh my gosh. And I'm assuming we will find out what a Dusk Petal Dust is. Later. Oh, it's an elusive. <laughs> A 2 mana 2 2. Nightfall. Grant me elusive. Oh, it's a 2 mana 2 3. I can't, how did I misread that? 2 mana 2 3. That's actually pretty, 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 pretty good. It's pretty good. At worst, it's a 2 mana 2 3, which is already is one of the ideal stat lines for a 2 drop. And if you do the combo effect, then it's an elusive. And elusive is always a great keyword. Uh, so yeah, this is a really good card. This it just by itself has solid value, and then it can get elusive if you do it in a combo. Very good. Crescent Guardian. What an interesting looking card. Three mana. 3-3, three, three, with Overwhelm. Nightfall, grant me plus 2 attack. So a 3-mana three 3-3 three, three is a pretty standard stat line with Overwhelm. So it's like it's like a Mighty Poro, except with the Nightfall effect, it gets plus 2 attack. And as we all know, Overwhelm scales with attack. So it becomes a 3-mana 5-3 with Overwhelm, which is almost comparable comparable to Bathgliss Rider for one less mana and one less health. That's pretty good. Perhaps this will encourage um this will probably encourage um some some of that aggro concept with Nightfall. Maybe you'll pair this card up with uh Shadow Isles and some fearsome units and have some overwhelm units from Targon to finish things out. It's a possibility. It's a possibility. Ah, uh, here it is. One mana burst speed card. The next unit with Nightfall, you play this round, costs one less. Holy shit! One. This card pays for itself. Two. It's a free Nightfall trigger. And three, it's burst speed, so it doesn't, it doesn't pass over the action. <sighs> oh my gosh, this is this like this is like how warning shot was to the Bilgewater uh, and plunder mechanics. Uh, this this is going to see play, one hundred percent. It might seem like wait. Oh my gosh, it doesn't have a gem. Damn. Okay. So, it's only from that one drop card. So, so if it's if that one drop card is the only thing that produces this, and I hope that's not an, is it a nightfall effect to produce it? When I'm some no, it's not. Okay, so this this card is going to be like in almost every single uh nightfall deck, because the dusk petal dust is just a free trigger. It pays for itself. You just have to have one mana to play it. Wow. That's really good. That is really good. Really good. I hope this is main deckable, but I, I know it's not. Okay, and that's that. So only four cards. Man. I am going to be looking forward to Diana. 
But this card right here, it gets me. Lunari Duskbringer looks crazy. If you're doing any sort of Nightfall card concept in general, you need to run this card. This is an auto include. Reason being, first off, it's a one it's a one drop that doesn't have Nightfall on it, which which actually makes a big deal for a Nightfall deck because most times you want to play a one drop unit to pr trigger all your Nightfalls. So this card sees use even after turn one. It is useful throughout the entire game as a is a nightfall trigger by itself. That then produces then produces another nightfall trigger through dusk petal dust that pays for itself as long as you have one mana. So it just this one card provides you two nightfall triggers. To start off the turn easily without without hassle this makes night the nightfall trigger trigger word uh keyword sorry keyword much more viable in my eyes because the more triggers you have for this keyword the easier it is to use and the easier it is to use the more likely people are going to play around with it I like it. This this is the one card. This is the one card that Nightfall really needed to be an actually good concept. And I know it sounds weird saying that a one drop is what really is making a deck, but the synergies that this card provides is just too big. It's too big for for Nightfall as a whole. It's it's everything a Nightfall deck wants. All right. And though I don't know if it will be okay, so it's a one mana two one. So if you're running a nightfall aggro deck, you you'll run this anyways. But I don't know if you'll run any other what other one drops you'll run alongside it, because you know as an aggro concept, I'm almost sure. I mean, you could run Stygian, I guess. So you run this in Stygian with a uh, Nocturne, and I and I assume you'll you'll. Get that overwhelmed three three, because fearsome is nice and all, but overwhelm is where it's at. So if you have a mix of the two, then you're more likely to see success in your games, as we've seen with spider aggro in the past. Now this card, it's just solid. There's not much to say. I think I've already said everything I need to say. It's a two mana two three. That if Nightfall, grant me elusive. The elusive keyword is notorious <laughs> in Legends of Ruterra for being annoying and going under a lot of stuff. On a two mana, two three. It, like usually, usually, the health stat on elusives is like two or one for good reasons because they should be easily removed. This is three health. 3 health is a premium health stat, and the ability to give this elusive just makes this card even better. Even better than just that standard 2 mana 2 3 stat line. And of course, the overwhelm. Uh, and this one's not as crazy, though if you have the right triggers for it, then it does kind of become kind of nutty. It, it's basically Basquiat's Rider. Except with three health and one less mana. That's just how I read it. And Basculus Rider was a problem back back when uh, when aggro was really big. So this we might see some similar things with Crescent Guardian, though I think it won't be as won't nearly be as bad because the sort of region it is in is not one for burn. Or heavy aggro by the looks of it. Other than maybe Nightfall. And we haven't even seen all the Nightfall cards in Targon region. Or in Shadow Isles, to be honest. I'm sure there's more. So, this this one gives me a real thinker. It's like, it's good. But I don't know how good or what concepts it will fit. 
I mean, I know it fits in aggro concepts, but I don't think Targon is very fitting as an aggro concept as of right now. And of course, Dusk Petal Dust. That, that's just linked to this card. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this reaction and my some of my spitball and thoughts that I bring to the table. I hope you all stay healthy out there, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.